Welcome to the CKA Certification Series Part 9. In this video we will cover an intermediate level network policy scenario. The 11th question is, you have a Kubernetes cluster and running pods in multiple namespaces. The security team has mandated that the DB pods on the Project A namespace be only accessible from the service pods that are running in the Project B namespace. This is a little bit difficult question. I will explain the question with a diagram. As per the question, you may have more than two namespaces in the cluster. In this diagram, you can see three namespaces, Project A, B, and C. By default all pods in all namespaces can communicate with each other. As per the question, we have to only allow ingress connection from the service pods of the Project B to DB pods of Project A. So we need to block other pods of Project B as well as other namespaces. Let's go to the cluster. Let's check the namespace first. We can see three namespaces. Next, we need to find the pods of all namespaces. Project A has one DB pod, Project B has two pods, Service and Web, and Project C has one pod, Application. This is the IP address of DB pod. First, we need to check the connectivity using the ping command. We can see the service pod can communicate with DB pod. Let's check other pods connectivity. Okay, the web pod has connectivity to DB pod. Okay, application pod also has connectivity to the DB pod. According to the question, we can only allow the connection from the service pod of Project B, and the rest of all namespaces and the pod need to block. We need the help of documentation to solve this scenario. Go to the network policies. Copy the YAML file. Save and exit. Before editing, we need to add some labels on namespaces. In order to implement network policies in this scenario, we need to label the namespace first.
We added one label in the project A namespace, and we need to do the same in project B namespace. Next, we need to find the labels of the pods in the project A and the project B. Please note this all labels, because network policy is working based on the labels on the pods. Let's edit the YAML file. First, edit the namespace, it should be Project A, because we are applying this policy on Project A namespace. Match label should be the label of DB pod. We don't need egress. We don't need IP block. Namespace match label should be the labels of project B, because we need only the ingress connection from project B. Pod selector should be the label of the service pod, because we need the connection from the service pod to DB pod. Two conditions are there, an and or condition. You can see, now the settings are in or condition. Which means, any one of the conditions is true then the policy will allow the connection. So we need to remove the dash in front of the pod selector in order to make the condition as AND. Which means, the policy will only allow the connection when both conditions are true. Let's save and exit. OK, we have applied the policy, let's check the connectivity now. First, we are trying from the service pod. OK, connection is there. Now we are going to try from the web pod. You can see, connectivity is blocked by network policy. Next, we can try from the application pod. Yes, that also is blocked by the network policy. We have successfully completed this question. And I will show you one more thing. I will show you what will happen if we are not remove the dash from the YAML file. Let's see. Let's delete the existing policy. Now I am going to show you, how will behave the policy if we added the dash. Now it becomes an OR condition. That means, either one condition is true then it will allow the ingress.
Apply again. Application pod is blocked. Service pod is allowing. Web pod is also allowing because the network policy is checking whether it is coming from namespace project B or service. Either one condition is true then it will allow the ingress. In this case, web pods is from namespace B, so the policy will allow the connection. Thank you for watching this video, we will cover more questions related to network policies in the upcoming videos, if you felt this video is useful then please do like and subscribe.